part of my job uh, here at MIT is finding out you know, what is the best way for our students to get access to facilities. Part of that is how do you staff them. Um, you know, the, the students here, undergrad and grad students, aren't children, and we find that they can run facilities and in some cases do a much better job than, for example, what technicians might do. We also know from surveying the students that certain groups of students prefer to learn from their peers versus, you know, grouchy, you know, 40-year-old technicians like myself. Um, so it's my job to run experiments. So we have a multiplicity of different student-run spaces or spaces that are run by combinations of students and technicians. So for example, we're sitting in the Maker Workshop right now that is run primarily by graduate students. So they're all degreed engineers. They can help you uh, engineer whatever it is you want to build and help you do a good job building it. And then we recently opened up another facility called the Deep. And this is a facility that's hybrid. So we have students that help to run the place in addition to a couple technical staff. And you know the real, uh, I think the real goal that we have with the deep is to find out if we have technical staff and we have students running a space like this, you know, can we cover a broader range of hours for the students to get access? So, for example, the technicians don't have class, so they can be in the space from eight to four every day, and then the students, you know, after dinner they have the nighttime. So you can have machines that the students have access to, you know, twelve plus hours a day. So the Make Impact Consortium had sort of its seating, I'd say about three, four years ago. Uh, Professor Bill Allett in the Martin Trust Center, affiliated with Sloan School and I, uh, we got to talking. And we said, you know, look, MIT, one of the great things about this place is that people have these ideas and then they make them happen. And the way this happens is through the makerspaces. So, you know, if, as MIT, if we didn't have the makerspaces, we wouldn't be MIT. And then we started to think, well, is it easy for our students to be able to put both of these skill sets together, entrepreneurship and making? And the answer was, you know, all the raw ingredients were there, but the students had to sort of dig to find these things. So then the next question is, how do we, you know, put together programming and curriculum, et cetera? You know, what are all the pieces of the puzzle that you have to put together so the students can get both an education in making and then entrepreneurship? So he and I worked for a couple years on that, found some very counterintuitive things. And then the next thing was, well, maybe we should be sharing this with other people. And so the idea was that we would form a global consortium of schools and then also industry partners. And between these, group, these two different groups uh, of entities, figure out what's the best way to educate our students in entrepreneurship, innovation, and making combined. Those three things combined. It's not trivial. And then once you've got this education, what are they going to go do? So the companies are the people, you know, for example, um, instead of entrepreneurs, they call them intrapreneurs, where you have people with an entrepreneurial spirit inside of a company helping to come up with ideas for new products and launch them. What do the companies want for skill sets out of the students? And so then the companies, because they have the need, drive what it is that we want to accomplish at the university, and then the universities figure out how it is we put our resources together so that when a student comes in as a freshman and then they leave as a senior, that they've got the skills that the industry folks want. And so that's what Make Impact is all about, putting both the hands-on, the entrepreneurship, the intellectual component, and the practical elements from uh, our uh, universe, uh, university and industry members so that we can have students go out and be these entrepreneurs.